What is up everybody? Welcome to today's video. My name is Josh with Ollie's Auto Spa and I'll be showing you a quick run through of my detailing truck and how it's set up. I've been doing professional detailing for over two years and this is what we have going on. All right, so we'll start with the cab. It's a single cab, 1999 Chevy S10 and it is pretty simple. It's got a five speed manual. On the inside, I don't keep much. I have some Gatorades there. Um, a trash can, a headphones, and a light. Simple things like that. I guess starting off on the top, I have a little roof rack that I've had for a while, and this holds a six foot foldable table. This table is so nice for when I get to an, my detail, I set it up, and I can throw my floor mats on it, all the personal items from the customer's car. It just looks way more professional. Um, I have on this shell some custom made, <laughs> custom, I did it myself doors those swing up and that kind of exposes everything on the sides helps me to work a little bit more efficiently so here in Utah it gets really cold in the winter time it is the end of January and it's dropping to about 10 degrees at night sometimes colder so all of my spray bottles I actually keep in this big cooler here and that keeps it from freezing overnight I have my clean towels in this bin um, my wash mitts and all of that and I have a couple of these caddies here that hold various brushes. So in this one, we have some batteries, uh, some drill brushes. I have a little blower, some steamer parts, some drill bits, heads, um, parts for my hose, that kind of stuff. I also have here some detail brushes, some little gun cleaning brushes for more smaller stuff. This is my extractor head. <laughs> Chash. And then, of course, a bunch of different bits and bobs that I use for interior cleaning um, and dressing. So, yeah, brushes, spray nozzles, all that kind of stuff. This is out of place. That's some super clean. In this one, I have different chemicals. So I have silk shine protectant, um, super clean. Uh, this is just leather conditioner. And I have wax for the outside uh, here are some really dirty interior towels for dirty jobs and some brand new ones for paint work scrub pads let me bring you around to the other side all right on the right side as messy as this looks i'm actually super proud of it it all starts here so this is my 100 foot water hose now the way this works i actually run this straight out to the house I connect it to the spigot um, and then that automatically has a lead hose that filters through my deionized system um, and then that goes to my pressure washer here and then through to the pressure washer reel and so all I have to do to get everything set up is I take this hose walk it out to the house um, turn on the water and then this is all ready to go so I just pull this out turn on the pressure plug in the pressure washer and I'm good to go so because the truck is a little small and I have a lot of junk I don't carry onboard water so I have my electrical reels this is a hundred feet of 12 gauge and 50 feet of 12 gauge so that is how I do it now this is kind of a mess um, but let me open up the back and it is a little cleaner than it looks all right so this is what the back looks like when it is all opened up uh, the struts actually froze and they do not open the uh, top any longer i'll have to replace those so i have this light bar that kind of just props that open for now yeah let's let's start with the vacuum so this is a rigid pro pack this is what i use for all my dry vacuuming um, and of course i have a 30 foot vacuum hose so that actually doesn't need to come out of the truck i just kind of plug it in there um, everything is on this switch so what I do is I just plug this into the power cord and then I have my more important things like my vacuum and steamer they're all on a uh, a button switch a remote switch so I can turn those on and off as I need to and it actually works really well so I have of course that is for my dry pickup and then I just have another vacuum uh, I got this for free off of Facebook marketplace and this is what I use for all my wet pickup. So I connect this with the same 
vacuum head and my extractor head to pick up all of the wet, um, all the water. And of course that's also plugged in here and my steamer as well is all plugged in there. So it has a breaker. And what I found with the breaker is that I can run the dry vacuum and the steamer at the same time without tripping this breaker. But I cannot run the steamer and the wet vacuum at the same time, otherwise this will trip. And so that's what I'll do. I'll do my dry vac while I'm heating this up and then I can steam and then I can extract afterwards and it saves me a ton of time because before I'd never wanted to trip the breaker so I would always do one or the other and this VX5000 takes about 30 minutes to heat up from cold water so that's about 30 minutes where I'm sitting sitting around doing pretty much nothing and it, yeah it's not fun so doing that having it on its own breaker if I if I do draw too much power then this will trip and it won't trip the breaker in the house if that makes sense so that's actually a really helpful feature and of course I can turn it on and off as I wish um, to do that so in the back here this is a big light that I use for paint correction or if it's just super dark out I can use that I have my California air tools air compressor and in the back there there is an expansion tank which is extremely helpful because I run this vortex air tool all the time and I use not just the air tool but I use the spray gun to apply interior dressing and tire shines guys it's a game changer go ahead and do it in this bin I have dirty towels I like to keep them all just out of the way so I'll pull this out throw it underneath the table when I get set up and that way whenever I'm done with my towels they all just go in there store it underneath and when it's full I take them in and wash them uh, throw them in that bin up there so yeah that's pretty much it one last thing I wanted to show you so I wanted to have an extractor set up but I didn't want to go purchase a mighty uh, or just take up a lot of space so I use the same pressure washer reel and this connects I just pull this out with the vacuum hose and that connects to the mighty wand so what happens is, when I run this out to the house, and I turn on the water, all that filtered water coming from the house is coming through the uh, extractor head. Yeah, that's right. And so I have pretty much unlimited water coming in. And of course I have about 16 gallons pickup tank. And it works so beautifully. When I bought the truck, these seats were absolutely disgusting and now they look brand new and I, I've done a lot of interiors with it and it just works super super well so that's how I do my extraction uh, and how I'm able to kind of do more interior restorations uh, without having to stop in between using like a tiny half gallon pickup like the Bissell has right so yeah that's my little setup this is Paco if you want to check out some of the work I do I mean all these auto spa.com uh, it's my website and I of course have an Instagram too kind of have before and after pictures up there but oh man I'm out of breath just talking I'm recovering from uh, from a cold so I haven't worked in the last couple days oh yeah and so these spray bottles I was getting really tired of having really crappy spray bottles so I kind of splurged on a bunch of these Marilex mini 1000s and they're all labeled. Um, so one's APC, this one's degreaser. Have all kinds of stuff in there. Cool, so let's do a cost breakdown of what this cost me to do a professional mobile detailing business that I run six days a week here in Utah. So the truck itself was 1200 bucks. I replaced this fender and this door for $125. I have about 10 bucks in spray paint to redo fenders and to get it all cleaned up that way I bought this aluminum shell for $100 on Facebook marketplace and spent about $30 to build these uh, custom doors I also had to replace the lock here um, it's kind of ghetto but it works that was about $25 all in because I had to do it twice as far as tools go the vacuum here was about $110 the vacuum hose was another $55 the steamer was about $1,000 very cool. I wish I went with something that was continuous fill. So next time I will. 
This vacuum was completely free. Well, about five dollars in gas to go pick it up. The bin was free. I stole from my parents' house. Don't tell them. Uh, this light was about a hundred and ten dollars at Home Depot. The reel was sixty nine dollars. Um, this I had laying around. Pressure washer was about eighty bucks at Home Depot on sale. Um, let's go around the side. I mean, the products, I probably won't go in the pricing of them. It's just going to take too long. But these towels are about 16 bucks or 18 bucks a uh, package. And I use, um, I buy probably one a month. One or two a month. The cooler was a gift. This bin was a gift. Uh, these bins were about $20 each at Walmart. So I got three of those. Blower was $55 on Amazon. I had my drill, which was about $100. Drill brush, little bits and bobs. All my brushes were probably a combined $40. The extractor head was $130 for this mighty HP 400. No, 8400P. Uh, totally 100% worth it. This spray gun was about $9. Um, and then vacuum nozzles, brushes, all that. Uh, another probably twenty dollars there. I'm gonna have my chemicals. Oh, I have this blower here for my old vacuum. So that cost me one hundred and ten dollars, or hundred no one hundred and forty. But I still use this to blow off cars now. The extension cord. I paid about seventy five dollars for this one here 100 feet 12 gauge and I paid about $30 for this 100 feet uh, sorry 50 feet 12 gauge cord there the extract or sorry the pressure washer reel was about $75 the hose was about $60 it's a flexzilla so this thing is actually completely frozen solid and it's still flexible uh, just because that's how it is here in Utah. This hose was about 50 bucks. <coughs> um, I have this little $20 gun there. The deionizer tank was about 400. Uh, the air compressor I bought used for about $240. Originally about 400. And the Expansion tank I got for free, but spent about $15 in hoses and connections there. Gosh, there's a lot of money in connections, just the hoses and all that. Let's say another $60. Um, the remote control switch was about $30. Let's see if I can get everything. This was about $30, this light. What else? In chemicals, it's, let's say, gosh, let's say about $100, $150 a month. And bottles, so those Marilex spray bottles were about $64 for the eight of them. And I'll replace those in probably six to eight months. One thing I totally forgot to mention while I was filming this is underneath all the brushes, I have a box with my polisher, my compounds, and pads in them when I do paint correction. Now the polisher is, will run me about $240. Uh, the pads about $100 and another $60 in compounds. I probably have another $40 in sandpaper and other tools that I use for polishing. So we can run up the total there as well. And on the inside here, you cannot forget your uh, Headphones, headphones, I got one pair for free, the other pair I paid $150 and they're garbage. Oh, one other thing is, I have this little this little pouch here, and I wear this on every detail, and uh, I keep all my brushes in there. <coughs> so in this little pouch, I actually, gen generally on an interior detail, I keep like two or three brushes. I have a little pet brush, pet hair brush in there, um, I have this detail brush and a single 
brush here and I usually have a pick. Um, that's pretty much it for the interior. I have some extra batteries. So let's say another $100 in batteries because those are stupid expensive. Um, other lights. I have my business cards. Oh, let's see if I can grab a business card. So I have these really cool custom business cards that I designed myself. Uh, I also designed my own logo so that I didn't have to spend money on that. I got these for about 20 bucks for a pack of 500. So thanks for watching my quick little video. Um, if you have any suggestions of ways I could make it a little bit cleaner, um, and a little you know nicer setup, then let me know. This fall I'll be purchasing a van and doing that. The, a pretty nice setup in it. Um, I've been running this for about four months now, and before that I was out of my Subaru, and I worked out of my Subaru for about two years. It was a pretty similar setup, just in the Subaru instead of the the um, bed of the truck. Now I have a little more room in here, but I'm still outgrowing it. I have a lot of crap. A lot of crap, that's for sure. But, uh, yeah, let me know, and thanks for watching.